Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Feather and this is Feather's Realm. And today I'm going to be talking about this fun toy that I picked up for Lavender, my cat. And it's a Melon Madness puzzle and play cat puzzle. So some of you out there might be wondering if you should get a cat puzzle for your cat. So I'm going to share my experience and let you know if it was a hit or not with Lavender. Now, some of these cat puzzles can be 20 or more dollars. I was lucky enough to find this one for 15 to try it out. But for a cat toy, it can be kind of expensive. So maybe you're wondering if it's really worth it. Today I'm going to let you know if it was and if Lavender liked it or if she didn't, so stay tuned to find out. This is the first time trying it out and as you can see she took to it immediately and started foraging and sniffing out the treats. It honestly didn't take her very long to find them and I'm wondering if maybe I want to try a harder puzzle in the future. I should have looked at the back of the box before I tried it out. I noticed that to make it harder, you can put the treats into these small little holes. And then the kitty can slide it up and it'll drop down. Sometimes it gets stuck. It'll drop down into the cup for her. Oh, she wants up here. I tried it last night and it doesn't really look like she got any of the ones that I put in the holes. One thing I noticed is she has some trouble pawing the treats out already and I don't know if that would just be frustrating for her. I think it's more fun for her to search the puzzle and then find the treats and be rewarded right away when she does. Yeah, she enjoyed it right away but the best part about it is I noticed that even after the first time playing with it I would notice she would sit by it and sometimes she would even beg for me to put treats in it. She started hanging out by it all the time. It was really cute. Does this mean you want treats? You want treats, baby? Yeah, you do. So I'm about to put some treats in Lavi's little feeder here. Let's see if she's ready. Let's move back a little bit. All right, kitty. Now, I can't really sneak them in here, so I think I'm gonna give her a treat first before I load it up, and we can watch her in action. Distract her over here. Doesn't buy us very much time though. Oh, here she is. almost too easy. I want to find her a harder one. Good kitty. She just sniffs them out. You know how to do it. Yep. That wasn't so hard. I think, did you get them all? I think there were more. Lavi, I think there's another one. I think you already got that one, sweetie. There's more, you smell it. I know you do. <laughs> Come on, Navi. Wrong way. Okay, there's a little challenge here. There we go. Good kitty. Might have to paw it out. Can you paw it? Oh, come on, you almost got it. You got it. Is there another one? Oh, there is. Lavi, there's more. You gonna find the other one? And she's at it again. Is she gonna find it? Oh, she smells it. We're getting close. We're getting close. Oh. There we go. Good kitty. Now the reason I got this for Lavender was at night she tends to get a little bit stir crazy. She's not the type of cat to come in and sleep and cuddle, unfortunately, but 
she likes to stay up and play and she has a huge hunting instinct. And so I found out with a little bit of research that a cat puzzle can be very helpful for a cat like this, or most cats in general. There are studies that show that cats have less anxiety and are more fit and happier overall if they use puzzle feeders. I haven't really used this on the regular to feed lavender yet, so I don't really know in the on the long term if that's really beneficial i know some people use it to slow their cat down if they eat too fast she doesn't have that problem every time i give her treats i started doing it in the puzzle and she just associates it with the treats and it seems like she really enjoys foraging even when there's no food in it she will go over to it and start playing with it which is a sign that she really does enjoy it. I only once have tried giving her a regular feeding in it and it went pretty well. She didn't have as much interest as she did with the treats. I think there's something about those treats that she just craves, but she still had a good time with it and enjoyed it. It's begging for food, so I decided I am going to give her her food in her little puzzle. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Nelly. Okay. So I have the puzzle all loaded up. Let's see how she does. Go on. Different food. What? Do you want your food? All right, so far, she doesn't seem very interested. She'd rather I pet her. She has to stretch first. She has a tendency to like to paw her food out of the feeder and even when she eats in general she tends to paw the food out of her bowl and she even paws her water it's a little technique we like to call sippy paw and it's really adorable but messy <laughs> so cute how she paws her <laughs> She still seemed to enjoy it and was foraging around, but she didn't quite have as much interest. And it definitely did slow her down eating, even though she doesn't really eat too fast in the first place and she doesn't really have a weight problem. So I don't really use it for her regular feedings because of that. It's more a stress relief tool and a little something for her to do. All in all, this was a big hit with Lavender and I'm excited to try out other cat puzzles and compare and contrast the experience. Ultimately, I feel like this puzzle might have been a little bit too easy, but she still really seems to enjoy it. And I'm wondering if it's too challenging, if it would just cause her frustration. I do notice that when she plays with her catnip ball at night, she will lose it behind things or have trouble getting to it and she'll start meowing. She can get a little bit loud at night. That was part of the reason I actually tried this out in the first place to help give her a little more entertainment. So that's something I am going to try in the future is feeding her overnight with the puzzle. I think that might help occupy her because she is very nocturnal and she tends to like to stay up all night and she can get very loud too. She's mellowed out a little bit, thankfully, but she still needs a lot of entertainment at night when we happen to be sleeping. So there you have it. Have you ever tried a cat puzzle? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about your experience. And also if you have any other questions for me about Lavender's experience with the cat puzzle, I'd be happy to answer them. So let me know. And thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm brand new here and it would really help me out.
Also, if you have any feedback, I'm definitely open to that because I want to make Feathers Realm a really fun community for everyone. So thanks again and have an awesome day.